Yo ho, what's up guys? Welcome to day 10 of the Noob to Pro series and Ultimate Tower Defense. We have a big day today. We are about to unlock trading. We are about to get a bunch of gems from completing our last two quest three quests. And uh yeah, and then we are going to try to get ourselves a colossal titan through trading. Yes, sir. So uh, let's go speed run a few matches and get these dubs. Alright, we're gonna start off with space. All right, here we go. We're going to have to start off a little bit um, uh, more particular because uh, this is a little bit on the challenging side for us. But we are bringing Froppy this time, so we'll see if it's better or not. All right, we're going to start off with Bakugo because why not? We'll see if Bakugo can put in that work even with his six cooldown. But look at his AoE. His AoE is pretty good. I think it might be like a cone AoE. It's that good. Dang, this guy put in some work. Bang. All right, we'll get another one down. I can't even put him on last. So we'll just put him on strongest. Oh my gosh, he hit this whole line. Okay, so maybe he is like a big, big Kone AoE. Hey, we'll take that. There we go. Dude, that's actually popping off. Dang. All right, we're going to have to spam a couple Renjays, though. There we go. Dang, though. <laughs> Bakugo popping off kind of a little bit. Dang, man. Bang, bang. And they just alternate, and we just get all the destruction. All right, we'll put this guy on strongest too. There we go, looking good. Oh my gosh, Renje, Renje, bruh. <sighs> All right, that's fine. All right, I'm hoping this is gonna be enough now. I am gonna get some slows down to hopefully slow it a little bit, and that might help us, but uh, I'm not sure. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna go get our speed wagons maxed. There we go, and now it looks like we're chilling. So let's go skip to the end. There we go, guys. Our first dub. Seven minutes for 5k gold and 5k XP. Actually, pretty close to 6k XP. Not bad at all. If we do this right, we only need uh, two more rounds. Let's go. All right, so it looks like we only need a tiny bit more XP. So I think what we're going to go for now is, um, uh, hmm. I don't know. I'm taking a look at the banner, and the banner kind of sucks. I ain't going to lie. So uh, we're going to not worry too much about that. They're selling a divine for 500 gems. Dang, divines ain't worth nothing nowadays, I guess. All right, anyways. Let's go over to, hmm, let's see here. Let's do, let's do planet, no, nah, eh, you know what? Let's just do, we'll do castle, insane. All right, I want to see how much this gives again. I think we only have to do this one twice, if I remember correctly, so let's go. All right, here we go, guys. Bang, all right, you know, we could have just started like that, but hey, we're, we're playing it safe today. Bang, and let's go. All right, these guys are a little bit speedy. I would say like middle of the road. Okay, these guys are kind of fast now too, which is weird because these guys were the slow ones in space. Bro, are you kidding me? It didn't hit any of those? Oh my gosh. Bro, are we really gonna have to use Bakugo today? Dang, he only hit two of them? Bro, Bakugo, no. Bang. Oh my gosh, he's so good though. Dude, Bakugo might be one of my favorite mythics now. Dude, I think I disrespected him on my tier list too. I ain't gonna lie. Man, I feel bad now. I just re I just respected this guy so hard on my tier list. Dang, he's actually kind of good. Oh well, that happens, man. This is why you need the experience with the units. You you'll understand. All right, let's go uh, sell these guys and get them in a better placements. All right, bang, bang, and bang. Yes sir, yes sir. Bang. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, get these guys max too. And these guys max and yeah, we're chilling now. Let's skip to the end. All right guys I'm gonna be honest Bakugo makes you lag Dude, I, my PC crying right now. So uh, the one problem with Bakugo is the lag So maybe I'll lower him on my tier list because uh, this is so bad Honestly, I'm thinking about um disabling my attack effects considering how laggy this guy is Bang, there we go guys, 3,900 gold, 4,000 XP, let's go, and the lag is insane as well guys, come on Baku, we might have to unequip Baku to go, this is getting a little bit ridiculous, alright here we go, we got our next match completed, oh my gosh guys, look at our EXP right now, oh my goodness, what the heck, alright if we go zoom on in, you're gonna see we need 300 XP, oh my gosh, you know what, I guess we're just gonna have to throw it back to the city guys, do a little um a uh, little speed run here. Bang, let's get it done. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go insane and we're just going to go smack down her, I guess. I don't know if this is a good strategy or not, but wow, look, they even have 300 HP on insane, guys. We got this in the bag. We chilling. Big chilling. Bang. Oh my gosh, look at that AoE. Dang, girl, chill. I didn't realize she was that busted. All right, let's get, go get the lag machine. Bang. He's perfect for this though. Legit. Oh my gosh, he literally just like, bang, there you go. That, that's what we're talking about, guys. 
Oh man, that's crazy. All right, we're gonna actually farm a little bit now. All right, you guys, we're chilling, so let's go skip to the end again. Hey, we got the dub in four minutes, but only a thousand gold, man. Yeah, we probably won't be doing City Insane again. That's a little bit pathetic. But of course, guys, that's not what it was for. It was for just to complete our last quest. There we go, quest completed. Let's refresh. All right, 12 matches. All right, these, this set of quests isn't the greatest. We have a 27 matcher and then we have a 12 matcher. So that's kind of mid, but 38 gems is kind of popping off. So honestly, we might refresh that later on. We'll see. All right, anyways, let's go take a look at how many gems we have. We have 300 gems, so we should be able to put in a good offer. So let me go uh, Let me go try to trade a little bit here. All right, this server didn't work. Let's try the next one. All right, I'm going to join a full server. Hopefully, that gives us better chances of finding somebody that wants to trade Colossal. Bro, does nobody have Colossal Titan for trade? Oh, my gosh. This is not good. I thought it'd be easier than this. All right, this guy says he has Colossal. So uh, let's trade him. Yeah, I sent him a trade. Dang, man. He had a prestige to discounted, man. I felt bad, though. I didn't want to scam him. That's unfortunate. All right, here we go, guys. We got a trade. All right, we're trading our Renje and 270 gems for Colossal. So I think that was a... It's a little bit overpay, in my opinion, but uh, the Colossal Titan dip ha did have a discounted on it. So uh, we are going to just use it. So there we go, guys. We did get ourselves a Colossal Titan. And I don't think the guy knew who I was, but I'm not 100% sure um uh we'll i don't know whatever anyways it's a good trade guys and we got it for fair value as well all right colossal titan is usually worth around 300 gems some people want overpay though so we ended up getting it which is sweet so uh let's go do beat the next map but uh, everybody right now guys put an f in the chat for renje guys f in the chat man he was really good he really helped us out but we just got to move on to a better godly and big shout to my man conta control man <laughs> he found me in the game I sent him a friend request, so <laughs> what's up, man? Hey, big shout out to the chat for finding me, guys. Oh, my gosh. They literally all found me, dude. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. So a big shout out to all my boys. All right. Since everybody found me, I'm going to have to make a private server so I can actually solo. So, uh, yeah, let's go. All right. Here we go. It's time for us to beat the next map finally now that we have Colossal Titan. Now, what we are looking for is a good money unit in the banner Um, because uh, Speedwagon is good, but I think we might need even more money. So uh, we're going to try Speedwagon for now, and uh, whenever a good money comes in the banner, we're going to start spending our gold. We do have 11,000, which is quite a bit, so uh, let's go get it, guys. All right, here we go. We're doing Valley of the End. You know what? Let's do it on Insane, boys. Let's see if we can beat it. Let's go. Here we go, guys. So we're going to start off with a farm because we're down bad for money. Let's get it. Bang. So we could sell this guy right now, and we would have $1,000, which isn't bad, but we are going to actually like farm up a ton. Um, uh, thankfully that guy came with discounted um, and now we probably could have easily afforded to get discounted on it I'm not gonna lie because we did have so many gems. I mean so many um, uh, thingies for it, but that's fine All right, so we got all these plays. Hopefully we're able to get our colossal titan without selling any farms All right, can we yes barely barely but we can so let's see if we get enough for another nuke bang There we go. Oh, we got lots of money guys. So we're up to 4,000. So we literally just doubled our money from that All right, let's go nuke and we're going to go invest instead, guys. This is a little bit controversial. Actually, not really controversial, but this is the strategy. Because we need as much money as possible for the later waves. So we're going to try to time these perfectly. There we go. Looking good. And we no longer have Renja either, which really sucks. But And we're just going to get a bunch of slow units as well here. All right. Get everything nice and slowed for when we have to nuke. All right. And thankfully, these guys don't have that. Oh, wait a second. Oh, man. We're going to have to upgrade once because these guys have kind of a little bit of HP. All right, we're going to wait for them all to kind of get in the zone, and bang. There we go. We got them all. Let's get it, guys. Wave four. Here we come. And we're doing this on insane mode, too, guys. Let's freaking go. All right, we can get three upgrades now. Ooh, that's kind of expensive, but we got to do it because uh, they have a 100k HP. Bang. Nuke them. Let's go. Let's go. All right. One, two, three. All right. Wait for them all to be in range. Oh, wow. We got more, guys. This is going to be a big wave. We're going to have to do multiple nukes. Bang. Oh, man, we got they barely got through. That's unfortunate. All right, these guys are thin, though, so we can just do one of those. All right, I'm thinking maybe we get slightly better placement to there. There we go. This might be a little bit better. All right, we're going to wait for all these guys at least to come through so we don't have to waste all our money. Um, bang. And we got two more again. <laughs> That's funny. It's always the two guys at the end. Oh, no. These are the 59k HP guys. We'll just spam it then. That's fine. It is actually more worth it to spam it, guys, than to buy upgrades. So just so you guys know. So, like, this is actually way more worth it to do it like this. 
Like you're gonna save so much money. Like literally so much, so. It's a little trick for you guys if you're broke, you can just spam like this. Cause you're only spending $1,000 per spam and you're getting way more than that back per hit. So really good strategy right there for you guys. But we're chilling right now. Wave eight guys, no real problems. And hey, we're probably gonna get a lot of stuff as well from this. Oh, they have 200 K HP. So we're just gonna go four. See if that works. All right, not quite. So uh, since that didn't work, we're gonna have to spam a little bit more. There we go. Bang and bang, perfect. So uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna just start rapidly spamming. Cause that should work even for the 200k HP guys. If we get six spams, that should be enough to kill them. Yeah, you can see that the HP is going down, but slowly, that's fine. We'll take it. Oh my gosh, I got stuck in my hair, what the heck. So yeah, we're not really having any problems. I don't know if we're gonna have any problems with Kakashi though when he spawns. And I don't remember if there's, there was a bigger guy than these. Okay, this is actually getting a little bit troublesome here. There we go. So we did end up sliding in there. I'm thinking we might switch up the strategy a little bit and try to get a Frappinator here and a Frappinator here and then one of those there and one of those there. All right, that should be good. All right, we are not doing too hot right now, so we are going to switch it up and go one, two, three, four, bang. There we go. And one, two, bang. There we go. Looking good. All right, we got Froppy now, so hopefully that's going to be doing a little bit of DPS. And I'll get one more Froppy right here. There we go. And then one, two, three, four, bang. And then we can just spam for the rest. There we go. Wave 12, guys. No big issues. And the best part is we are smacking our money, you know. So we already have like 149K, you know, built up for the ways where we're not making enough money to pay it all back. All right, we'll just do three bombs. I think that might be the strategy. Bang. Ooh, yeah, that's actually a really good strategy. I think we figured it out. How much do those cost us? Uh, like 5,000 each. That's not bad. Because we're getting like 10,000 per bomb. So it's working out pretty well. There we go. And we got good placement too. So right here is the spot, guys, for nuking. This actually might be one of the new best gold farm maps. It just depends on how fast you can beat it. I would say if we had another farm unit, I would be way more happy with this strategy. Because uh, the only problem with this strategy is sometimes you run out of money. It's rare, but it's possible. So, But so far, we're chilling, guys. Wave 15. It is kind of a grind, though. I wouldn't say this is like the... Oh, whoa. We got 600k. That's not even sauce k. Oh, man. All right. I guess we should probably get four bombs then. And we'll do a three bomb here. Nope. And another... We'll do a one bomb. Oh, wait. Wait. That guy still has a lot of HP. Bang. Oh, my gosh. All right. That's a singular. There we go. Dang. So uh, this is getting a lot more harder than I thought. Bang. All right, it's time to just rapid spam, I feel like. There we go. Let's get it. This is kind of a good strategy. It doesn't work as well though, if there's like a 500k HP guy though. But like, if this is just the nuking strategy of death. We'll see how we'll see how good it is, but so far it looks like it's kind of working, because we do have the slow units on there too. There we go. Yeah, it looks like nothing really got through. So uh, hey, maybe this is the new meta strat. We will see. All right, I am gonna get some defense back here in case anything you know slides down. There we go. And then we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Let's go to a big nuke and just clear the map. There we go. That cost us a lot of money though. But you know what? Maybe it's worth it. Nah, we'll just, we'll just, oh wait, there's a thick boy. Yeah, we're gonna do another big nuke. Bang, 100K, that's a lot still. All right, we'll do one more small nuke. All right, they should be able to handle 20K, I would hope. All right, let's do some mini nukes. Oh wait, there we go, we're back at it guys. Wave 20, I don't think we saw Sasuke yet though. So uh, this could still get more sketch. I think Sasuke might have like 2 million HP. So uh, we're gonna need a lot of money for him if they do spawn but i believe each of these does like 40k okay so we got some thick boys oh, i accidentally sold that one without nuking that sucks um bang there we go wave 21 all right these are the thick boys so we're just gonna go we're just gonna clear it like this bang and then bang oh wow we still didn't beat them Bro, there we go. All right, the 12K is fine. 
we're doing it, guys. Wave 22. It's definitely a little sketch, but um, uh, we're getting the dub. I wonder how much money we're going to get from this. And the nice thing is if we beat this, then we unlock it for uh, when we do gold grinds with other people. So uh, this is definitely going to speed up our gold grinds on stream. Which is going to be great. Oh, man, they got through. Not for much longer. There we go. All right, we need to do a max bomb here for these thick boys. Bang. And then we can just do some minis. And that should handle the rest of our business there. Here we go. And there we go. Yeah, this is definitely not a fast round. This might be a... Uh, this is looking like a 15-minute round right here, guys. It better give us like uh, 15k gold. Honestly, this should give us a lot of gold because we are soloing it. So uh, I'm predicting this is going to give us like maybe 12,000 gold. If it gives us anything less than 12,000, that's just going to be sad. All right, we do have a bunch of money saved up though. Thankfully, we're almost at 400k, so we should be chilling now. We should be able to afford to do full nukes now. Here we go. And there we go. So we'll do four nukes and five nukes. All right, if we see big boys, we're going to do a full nuke. If we don't see big boys, we'll do a four nuke. There we go. All right, those are the big boys. I haven't seen any Sasuke's yet, though. Um, I think they usually spawn for me around wave 28, but I believe they can theoretically spawn anytime after wave 25. Um, but again, this game does have some randomness with the waves, though. So it is possible to have good RNG and bad RNG. So that is definitely a thing. All right, we'll get some four bomb, three bombs here. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're taking nothing. All right, there we go. Let's just go max it. Oh, there's Sasuke. 1.5 million HP. So that's four nukes to kill Sasuke. That's crazy. That is wild, man. Bang. Oh, you know what? That wasn't actually that bad, though. Let's go, guys. Wave 28. So uh, we only have a few more waves to go, and then we're home free. So let's go wait for everything to spawn on in here. All right. I want to wait for the Sasuke specifically. Okay, I don't really see any Sasuke's right now. Bang. Looks like a fairly easy wave here. And bang. There we go. Clear that. All right. We still have, like, we still have a ton of money in the bank, so we can afford to just nuke spam on these last two waves. So let's go for it. Spam all the max nukes we can. There we go. Bang. And yeah, I'm still not seeing any Sasuke's. This is actually like a really good RNG round. All right, we're on the last wave. Let's see if we get any sauce case here. All right, we have plenty of money, so we're just gonna max nuke. Now, unfortunately, max nuke is only doing like 400 and like 400,000 damage. So that's a bit unfortunate. There we go, we got the victory, guys. 10 minutes for 11,000 gold, but not all the enemies spawned in, so that was kind of random, but hey, I guess we got the dub there, guys. 11,000 gold, not bad at all. All right, also, it's gonna be a new banner in a second, so uh, let's go wait for the new banner and see if we get some good RNG on it. All right, in the meantime, guys, we have about 58 seconds to go, so let's go do some fishing. See if we can get some good luck on the fish. All right, first fish. Let's see what we got. Can we get, like, a divine or something? That'd be nice. Let's see here. There we go. Come on. Hey, clownfish. Not really what we wanted, but uh, let's see if the next fish is any better. Because we have $20,000, which should give us at least one legendary. So uh, I'm hoping for Aquaman or Boo in the uh, banner. Honestly, I'd be fine with Speedwagon the banner too. Because um, uh, then we can get like a max prestige Speedwagon, which would give us a lot more money. All right, we got time for one more fish. All right, come on. Please, something good. Please, something good. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Let's get it. Please, anything good. Anything good, man. We need the RNGs. A balloon fish. Not what we wanted, but hey. Time for the banner. We got Frieza. Whitebeard, no. Yo, should we spend all our gold for Whitebeard? Yeah, I think so. I think so, guys. Let's do a 10x, guys. Can we get Whitebeard? 0.04% chance. We got a Broly. All right. Come on. Dude, look at our pity for a golly. It's actually really high. So, uh, bro another Broly. All right. I guess we're getting Broly Prestige 5. All right, I saw a golly back there. Can we land on one now? Oh, oh, we got the Mythic. Let's go. We got Annie. We got another Mythic. Let's go. Let's go. We'll take that. Add to our Mythic collection. All right, let's see what we got here. We got, an oh, we got an Naruto. I thought there was going to be another Broly, but we got an Naruto instead. 
That's an L. All right, let's check our elixir. Bulk melt these guys. We're up to 40,000, guys. Let's go. I'm just going to melt these. They're not really worth it for us, but I'll keep one just for, um, uh, you know, our sake, for the sake of this. All right, there we go. Got Annie. I don't know how good Annie is. I know Annie used to be good for um, uh, battle mode, so maybe we'll start battle mode grinding. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We ended up getting the best godly in the game, and um, uh, yeah. And we end up beating this nice round. So I'll see you guys next time. And we're going to try to beat Costa Smeralda next time. So catch you guys then. Peace.